I'm in the lakes again and I'll be planning to do a camp just on the shores of Ulls Water at a little place called Silver Point so there'll be no sort of like mountains or anything to climb on this one which is just as well because it's about 25 degrees it's red hot the forecast is for light showers the odd thunderstorm maybe But the night temperature is going to be about 16, 17 degrees. So it's going to be quite warm. So I'm just coming into Patterdale here. I've had to park just outside because the White Lion Inn car park was full. So it just means a little bit of a track in, but shit happens. See a bit further on. What a spot. God's country. I've reached this spot here. This is a place called Silver Bay just on the shores of Lake Ulls Water and it, it's quite a little nostalgic place this because back in the 70s, mid 70s I used to come here as a little lad with me mum and we used to water ski from this little bay here and this is where I learned to swim as well first thing I'm going to do is take this bloody rucksack off because I'm absolutely lathered and have a brew. That seems like a plan. We'll bring it back in a bit. Absolutely brilliant. I'm in my element because I'm next to water as well and I brought my fishing rod. If I didn't catch any fish this time, I'm gonna start a new hobby, like play the Joe's harp or something stupid like that. I'm blanking too much these days, so I'm going to have to put a stop to it. So I've got me maggots, I've got me swim feeder and me tackle, and me little telescopic rod, so I'm going to have a little bit of a dabble later on. But first, I'm going to finish off me brew. Catch you in a bit. This is what I've got for me dinner. Some chicken curry, and I forgot me rice. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have some of this instead. Lovely! Right, I've just set my rod up. It's my little telescopic fly rod. And I've got me. <laughs> this is the ancient. This I've had this uh, 
real probably about 20 odd yeah as you can see I've got my little barrel swivel there and my swim feeder just on that side of the barrel swivel with about maybe a three foot trace with the old maggots on the end Just caught a nice little perch here. Whoops. Keep still. There's the dorsal fin up. Nice little perch. Probably just under half a pound, and that's took me maggot. So he'll be going straight back. So I haven't blanked. That's the first fish I've caught in about, well, at least a couple of months anyway. We I've caught a fish. I've caught a fish. Little perch. So we're going to bait up again and uh, see, if we can, <laughs> see if we can catch something a little bit bigger. Brown trout on the menu. I haven't blanked. Get in! First fish in ages.
that's the hook out and he's going straight back Bloody midges. Ah oh, man. The hat's gone on no like. morning it's, uh, it's rained all the way through the night so I don't, I don't fancy going out there and pack my tent away just yet in fact I don't fancy going out there at all if it eases up a bit I'll uh, then out and have a brew but uh, I didn't manage to get much night footage in uh, last night, but uh, half nine the, the heavens opened up, so that was basically me and my tent. From then, and as you can hear, absolutely chucked my boot, but it's the lakes, what can you expect? So. We'll catch a little bit there, on. Well, it looks like I'm packing away a wet tent. As you can see, it's absolutely hiking the dune. Just having a brew. I think after that, I'm just going to take the tent down anyway. Regardless, I'm just going to have to dry it off back home. Fair weather camper? Mm -mm. Just got to take it as it comes. We'll catch you in a bit. I found one little flaw with a Van Gogh Banshee. The seam along here it gathers with water, so I'm gonna have to gonna have to seal that up because it's actually quite wet. Well, it was where my feet were and under my air mattress, so I reckon it's getting in there. So I'm gonna have to seal that up. The only floor. I can see with this tent and that's the only place where the water seems to lie on it anyway in fact I can virtually see where it's coming in just there so I'm going to have to put some sealant on that the tent on that Uh, 
tight wore off. No trace. The weather's probably going to start to fare up now that I'm away. Rain's eased off a little bit, so we'll uh, we'll catch it further down. Like a grunted rat. This is where my legs get wet. Brushing past wet bracken. Here's a way. The odd sheep tick hide in as well for good measure. Oh, oh God, mighty. Oh. Where the hell have I come here? Oh, do you know what it is? It's absolutely soaking. what I've just come through. Oh, we finally hit the path. After wading through all of that bracken there. It seemed to be a lot easier coming in. I must have just taken a wrong turn or something. But I'm absolutely soaking. As soon as I get into the car I'm gonna whack the heat as on full like because it's about a two hour drive back home. We'll catch you in a bit. Good pitch spots here, but it's right on the main walkway with commanding views. I'm not too sure, I think that might be Cherry Home Island in the distance there. God, this weather, man. Horrendous, absolutely horrendous. Bonus is, it's raining on the way back, and not the way there. So, uh, gotta be thankful for that. I'm probably that wet. I wouldn't get any wet there if I jumped in those water with all my clothes on. Take shelter under this holly. Thing is, I'll probably remember days like this better than the sunny ones. Remember it for all the wrong reasons. He has a couple of runners. Must be more nuts than what I am. Morning. 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 The English Lake District as one of the longest monsoon seasons, equaling that of Thailand. It runs from August to about April. Look at all of them poor little buggers. Welcome to the English countryside. Enjoy. There's no better than to slip into some dry clothes when you get back to the car. Always keep dry clothes in your car. Major construction work gone on here after the floods of two years ago.
just having myself one last brew and a little quickie time lapse before I head off because the weather's just sorting itself out now it's turned out to be a canny day typical so like I say I'm in a hurry to get back home far best to enjoy it while I can because I'm back at work tomorrow wishing I was back here when I'm at work so make the most of it when you're here well I'm going to call this one a done deal so uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one ta-ta for now